All right, much like we expected, these guys are going with their guns. Goki Mirror Match is running back. But it is an extended set here. If a Wise Honey wants to win the tournament, he has to win a first set, race to three, and he has to win the second. He has a lot of chances in between if he needs to try to change characters. But we all know Akuma is his best character, so we'll see if that even has to come into play. Get ready for the next battle. battle. All right, if you guys are tuning in, whether you're watching here on twitch.tv slash Tekken, Maybe you're watching on Eris's restream, restream, or maybe some other restream that's out there. But I urge you guys to pay attention to this. This is going to be an explosive battle. Maybe a taste of what you see come next month, you know, month after next. Yeah, or maybe the next few Master events. Yeah, for sure. I stand for Pakistan. I want to see these guys do work. And the, and, and the home state for Akuma? Let's go. Round one. Fight. Right off the bat, a wise honey giving that backwards movement. Teeth trying to press with the dive kick. You get that big axe kick in the mid-range. Yeah, lighting it up here. These guys waiting for those opportunities. Right now, not going to be too much of a, a big pressure neutral game just because these guys don't have the meter yet, but that's going to quickly change. All it takes is a few sequences. Um, we didn't want that. I don't think so. Light punish, though. Still able to rebound here. A T bud able to take the wall. Yeah, and he keeps him there. That's the thing is being able to keep your opponent there. He knows that that Shakunetsu trap uh, would have been very beneficial on block, of course, just because of the multiple hits. But still able to convert with the combo because of the wall splat. Yeah, and like you said, they had that dunk check like that. And then able to tag him out with the down four, one, one high series. And then still in range with, like you said, the down three at the end. Yeah. Puts him in position to be able to close out. 4 4 4, tip range like that. Now the neutral game is going to be much more important. We're going to see. Who's going to be able to come out with the advantage? Should be able to get pretty close to the wall here. Nice sidestep there, able to convert. Drops the combo, though. And that's Take a problem. Back after. Simple jab check in the 4 4 2. And you saw, yeah, the down. Crowds 2, whip. Gets his float, gets the wall. Oh, and that's going to get punished. He gets up with the down forward 1 series. He was so close to get, taking that round. Ooh, not a counter hit, but he confirms here. There's a Teef, he's going to close out. Yeah. And he goes right into the Rage Art. New change in Season 3, of course. After Screw, he's able to land the Rage Art. And he was able to, you know, cash in. Got to do it, right? Round three. Fight. Camo Suits. All right. Nice jump in. Able to get the jab series. But a Weiss, he's been waiting, man. He's been waiting to explode. He's had this full meter for the last round and a half. Oh, my God. Nice. He's going to get a launch. But he doesn't use any meter. That says a lot. The fact that we've been talking about this whole day, how he'll just cash in just like this. He might be dead, though. He might cash All in hard All the way to the wall, 4 4 two. Oh, no, oh, he no, dropped sort of it. What are you doing? It. EXDP. A teeth now? Yeah, Bob. And we've been around. Oh, and he down ran board into the one. down board when he ran into the quick hit. A teeth continuing what he started early on when these guys met in winter semis. That says a lot. The fact that we were talking earlier about the way a wise honey always just, you know, as soon as he gets his meter, he's looking for the hit, just cash out immediately. That was two rounds he set on a full bar. Like, yeah. Against the team. <laughs> just like, just maybe, looking for the opening and just couldn't, couldn't get it. Maybe he's doubting himself in this neutral game where they're trying to get those big hits, especially the hits that they're able to cancel into Fireball. That's the ones that count, right? All right, the approach here. Atif doing a great job. You know, that's uh, really, I think, where he's excelled in the matchup. His ability to land the low attacks, whether it's a down three or the down four, yeah. <laughs> and is 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 superior to, to everybody, I would say. He is the, what the hell was that? Anti-air jab? That was tight. Do it again. Down three fireball confirming. Yeah, Atif now. Momentum slowly starting to build for him. Fight. Yeah, man. You've, you've heard of uh, King of the North. This is King of the Nooch. <laughs> this guy has been out playing everybody in the open. From the village of the hidden sand. Yeah, Coming man. Coming out here, let's go. Mid check. A team just chopping up a wide sunny. Finally able to get a hit here. Gonna cash out, take his meter, take his wall, take his return. That's minus 70% just like that. God oh, damn. Yeah. And he really tried to maximize the damage here. Ending with the 4-3 to get the wall splat. Really wanted to get as much as he could. But if you're still in a Teeth sweep range, man, he is gonna represent that low. Oh, oh here And we he's go. about to represent with the rage art right here. And that, that because of the scaling of the two hits before that, he should be dead. He should be Dunzo. Dunzo like Dunzo. Man, this is more one-sided than I thought it would have been. Uh, so far, 
No, oh, he's out of range. He didn't, he didn't know. You got to be careful. Max range, Akuma versus Akuma. You got to be able to dash in and get the punish. Yeah, you lost any punishment. Doesn't work out there. Put yourself in a bad position here. Hey, and Atif going to re-jump, take the wall from you once again. Tatsu Ender at the wall. We still going. I'll peel you off the side. Oh, and he caught and him the ducking. Launch. Oh, oh, man. Jesus. Jesus. Dude, this is a problem. The, but, <laughs> this is a problem. Oh, and he oh, sidestepped the point blank the right side. You have to do that right away. You have to start moving as soon as you see him flare up. But geez, on fire. Atif. Think about what a wise honey has done to everyone he's run into this weekend. And look at what Atif is doing to him in the mirror match right now. Yeah. Have I, you seen him so starved for a hit this entire weekend? He's been trying. I mean, every time he was able to get those hits, but it wasn't in a se sequence where he was in kill range or he's able to to win the round. And it's just been unfortunate that, you know, any other opponent, I would have been confident in a wise honey. But when I saw them play the first time, it was obvious that Atif had a more com higher comfort level in this matchup. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out the lore. Nice. And the, the lore here. of uh, these Pakistani players is going to just obviously come in under the magnifying glass even more as months go by. Got to get Spag to uh, spit the lore, man. Spag and Asim. Yeah, let us know. Fight. Nice. Sidestep left. A little bit late on the whip punish there, but this down four, one, this jab range now. Both of them just one, running up and ducking each other like that. Nice touch fireball conversion here. Trying to get as much carry as possible. Just barely gets the wall. Nice conversion there. Gets the wall standing two into the Tatsu series. Trying to keep him there. Gets the anti-air, yeah. the follow-up. But it's not enough. This is where it hurts. Oh, the oh fireball, man. Max range sweep. Oh, Wise, don't give it. Don't give Batif this chance. Oh, man. Thank God he closed that up. Yeah, and this is his chance. I mean, he really needs to start pulling out some wins here. He is down two here, and he has to go the long way. He has to win three straight matches here if he wants to be able to reset. Another good jab flow for Hawaii's honey. Can't completely convert. And now Atif, showing a lot of step right. Doing some fireballs, has a lot of meter to work with here. Crouch two, trying to reset his pressure. Oh, we put his doesn't pull the trigger. This time he does. Four, four, four. Trying to chase down a wise. Dive key pressure incoming. Tried to step it again that time. Just a little bit too slow. Four, four, four. Oh, man. And this is going to be it. Yeah. Able to cash out. And that's the thing. So wise honey ready with the rebound. What, what, what date is it? What date is it today? 27th. Direct deposit. Let's go. <laughs> it's a it's midnight. It's, a, it's, it's midnight. It's a Sunday. Right. It's a Sunday. He needed that. He needed that. Let's see if he's able to continue this momentum. Yeah, that was the big thing. Even just to just to break it up. At that point, you've yeah, you've lost two games in a row. Either way, I mean, I wouldn't doubt either one of these players. These guys have already exhibited uh, their ability to perform and excel with the character, and you know, beat some of the best players that we've seen throughout this year. Just make them look lost. Yeah, man. It's like, oh, you thought you knew how to fight this matchup, and at the the funniest part, man, is seeing some of these dudes that, like getting up from the match. They have that look of just like, you know, like I. They just didn't have any answers. Yeah. Just like true frustration. And look at a team just pressure. Oh my God! Just this mid push. Oh, he went for something there. Nice wall standing one cancel into the dragon punch, but the side wall stun kind of messed him up there. But here's yeah. a low parry. Good read. Oh, side wall stun again. Peel him off. Try to put him right back on. Oh, why Sonny put himself in danger just now? Look at these guys fighting in the lava. And that's, that's probably how it felt for most of these other players when they were fighting these two earlier. They're fighting in flames. Ooh, oh, another wild DP. Yep. And right into the, he didn't need to do that, but he wanted to, you know, make a point here. Get some time to breathe. Great. All right, all right, all right. Round two. Fight. And the T butt so uh, so far ahead, he's willing to just take those gambits. Gave Honey a round for it, but here we go once again at the wall, rejump pressure. Up close, did not go for the down forward one. Side step, oh, can't quite pull pull the trigger in time. But a T butt circling around, 
Maintain this positioning where if he gets any touch, okay, a wise honey's his turn now. Yeah, it's a big touch too. This is gonna push to the other side of the stage. He might be able to get close to a nice sequence where he can get the kill. Goes to the mid. Oh my god, he right dropped back. it. Oh man. And he went for the big risk there. He wanted to bank it there on that mid attack, but a wise honey not ducking. That's the thing, we were getting a lot of praise earlier, right? In general, they've had very, very high success rate on a lot of those confirms, right? But they have, there have been some drops. But the problem is, dude, you go back to neutral, they're, they're monsters, like, it, it's, they're comfortable with it. And about making good decisions in the scramble afterwards, too. Oh, and a wise honey, three straight rounds? Three straight rounds, hold up, hold tying up, it up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me take my shoes off. This is looking like uh, awesome games done quick a little while ago. Oh, yeah, man. But now it's going the other way, man. They're going straight into rematch. This is going to be the decisive match of the tournament. It's either going to be an extended series or it's going to be all over. What's going to happen? Round one. Let it burn. Oh, he's doing it. He's starting to get in his head. Thanks. Wise Honey now. Complete momentum shift. Okay. Gets a punish. He wanted to get the launch. He went for the back one. Going to take his back one all the way. Oh, just sort of it. Yeah, uncharacteristic drop there, at least on the dash jab portion. Let's see what he does. Ah, out of range. But the recovery on the wall standing one is actually pretty fast. How are you going to kill him? How are you going to destroy this demon? Oh, man. Keeping some lows there, but yeah. Oh, why suddenly able to hold on? That's the thing, too. The threat of just Akuma having down forward one and a standing jab, it could really put a stop to a lot of the offensive pressure that any opponents could come in with. But it's just those other moves that really complement it. The uh, ability to cancel standing two and down two. And down three, of course. Look at these, they're just threatening each other with those cross shafts. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. You got to be able to be wary of that. Because right now, both of them sitting on meter. The ability to just, you know, do 50, 60%, especially with the wall there. Here's an opportunity right now. This should be able to do close to half life. Just based on this hit alone. There it is. You called it. Nice block. The block blow. Interesting that he's not going for a punish there. Down three off the crouch jab once again. Not close enough though. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna have to be careful. He has a sliver of life left. Oh, he went for the down forward one. No time. He's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to go for a launch into Rage Art maybe. Our team's defense is, is, is very good. Oh, he went for it there. Oh, There's step. no time. And he yeah. timed him out. Rely on the defense. Stay strong. And he didn't even need to, but he still anti aired him. The TV just committed to guard. Yeah. There we go. Counter hit pickup here. First one of the set. Oh, he didn't convert. He still had a chance there, even though he missed the 4 4 2 1. Just wanted to square up on the wall just so he could be able to do this. Peel you right back off, put you right back on. 4 4. Now eat the sweep. Oh, man. Oh, Get a my. God. EX, DP, set point, a teeth butt. Yeah. Tournament point. If he gets this round, it's going to be all over, and we're going to have a champion here. But is it going to be enough? A white sunny almost at two meters. And we've seen him, you know, the past two matches, he's been able to perform. He needs to really dig deep here if he wants this. Yeah, he's got meter to work with. He's got to okay. be able to connect to the wall. He gets it. Now what? What are you going to do to react to this? Goes for the down two. Now going for the mids. Oh, and the duck and the finish there. Awesome. We're going to a final round here. This is one of the most important rounds of the tournament. Who is going to take it? A white sunny sitting on close to a full meter again. Down four ones here. Man, okay. Dying the pressure, and then those down four ones now starting to shave off a little bit of help off of the team's health. Uh oh. There we go. That's that was, a big one. That was big, and he gets the dive kick pressure afterwards. Yeah, and he's going to get the bar to work with after, too. A Not team. done yet. This is on him. He's looking to win the tournament, oh, and he's going to take it. He's going to take it. Atif Bot is the champion here at Tokyo Tekken Masters, netting himself 300 points. And out of nowhere, I can't doubt this guy. He's putting himself into contention of the TWC points that's qualifier. That's crazy, and that's really scary. If you're one of these players on the bubble, if you're sitting out there, if you're hanging out with, you know, 450, 500 points, you're trying to make you climb your way up. Yeah. This is uh, an X factor now. There's somebody you got to be looking out for it coming next month. Man, yeah. he's only one more big finish away from putting himself in that conversation. Yeah. So and now and and 220 to to, to a wise honey. They're both they're, they're both they're in that, both in that, in that, that area. Yeah. And the thing is, now I want to talk to these guys. I want to find out where they go next because that is going to be a big thing. Because either one of those events that they go to, whether it's the master event, the challenger.